The 11 News I team peels off a new layer in the Molly Shattuck sex charge scandal. An unusual step has been taken in the handling of her divorce case, which was filed just as the criminal investigation started. I team lead investigative reporter Jane Miller is live in the studio with the latest questions swirling around these salacious allegations. Jane. Donna, in Delaware, the indictment of Molly Shattuck was sealed. Now we've learned the Shattuck's divorce case has been sealed in Baltimore County, according to court officials, by a judge in Baltimore County. It only adds to the questions about how authorities are handling Molly Shattuck. She's accused of performing a sex act on a 15-year-old boy after a relationship with him that started through Instagram. Shattuck appeared in court in Delaware on Wednesday to be arraigned, post bail, and plead not guilty to the charges. The Office of Delaware Attorney General Bo Biden that brought the charges will not answer why that indictment was sealed when the jury, grand jury returned it on Monday. Here's the timeline of the criminal and civil cases. September 25th, the McDonough School called police to notify of a possible sex offense involving Shattuck and a student. September 28th, Delaware State Police took over the investigation because the most serious allegation happened in Bethany. September 29th, Molly Shattuck files for divorce. We don't know at that point if she knew of the criminal investigation. October 6th, Mayo Shattuck files for divorce. His lawyer has told us he had heard rumors about his wife but did not know the specific allegations. November 3rd at 1.24 p.m., the Delaware grand jury indicts Molly Shattuck. That very same day, November 3rd at 1.30 p.m., Mayo Shattuck goes to court in Baltimore County and is granted the divorce. Lawyers who handle civil cases tell us it's faster than the norm to be able to get a divorce in Maryland in 30 days. People are typically advised it will take at least three months in uncontested cases, much longer when there's a dispute. We tried reaching the administrative judge in Baltimore County today to ask a few questions, but the message when you call that office says the judge and her staff are off till Wednesday. Live tonight from the studio, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News.